Hello, does this mic work? Hello? Welcome back, boys. How we doing? How are we doing? Trade McDavid for Matthews? Hell no. That would be the biggest uh, downgrade of the century. How we doing, chat? Welcome to the, uh, I guess, official first live stream of Franchise Mode. We are going to be rebuilding, well, not rebuilding, but maybe retooling the Edmonton Oilers. I'm going to try to save them. Have not started out the season very well whatsoever. So... We are going to fix some things up, and we are going to win a Stanley Cup with this team. I'm so glad you're finally doing a franchise mode. But the problem is I'm going to need some help and some recommendations in the chat along the way. Trade Nuge for Allmark. We'll get into all that good stuff, boys. Don't you worry. But first, we need to set this up. We need to do that. Update on my Hawks franchise. We won back-to-back -back cups. Nice. So we're just going to do a authentic league here. First thing you do is trade Jack Campbell on God. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. All right, what should be the name for our, uh, you know what? We're going to go GM Pasta. There we go. Because GM Pasta is going to be bringing a Stanley Cup to the Edmonton Oilers. Jeremy Swayman's actually easy to get on franchise. So I just downloaded the newest roster update that EA Sports put into uh, NHL 24. So I didn't make any changes to anybody. We'll do that if I... Yeah, I'll probably end up doing another franchise mode. But before we do that, we will uh, we will customize the rosters. But I want to get right into it. Edmonton Oilers, there we go. The uh, Pacific Division, that is right. So for franchise mode here, I don't really care about owner, owner mode, to be honest, boys. So I'm going to be turning that off. Salary cap on. Fog of War off. Player morale, uh, I think I'm going to chat. Should I leave this on? Yes or no? Nah? Player morale, is that a W or an L? Head coach, edit lines, no. We should turn that off. Uh, everything else good here, CPU trades. No, no. All right, we'll, we'll turn it off, boys. There we go. So, auto staff management, hire and fire coaches. I don't really know about the coaches, so I'm going to leave that on for now. All right, boys. Now we got two customized rules and settings. Turn injuries off? Chat, should injuries be on or off? Put it in the chat right now. Right now, I'm going to leave them on. Period length, three minutes. Maybe I'll turn them off, actually. Authentic cap penalties. Chat, should this be on? Yes or no? I have 88 goals in BIA Pro. Off, off. They're too unrealistic. I could lower the sliders. What about cap penalties? Yes, off. So difficulty, uh, I'm going to leave it on pro. If we ever do jump into, I'll probably only jump into like playoff games, but I won't be playing. I will just watch. Trade difficulty chat. Should it be easy, medium, or hard? I, I'm not selecting hard whatsoever. So medium or easy. Cap pens on, okay. Matthews will put up more points than McDavid in the simulation. <laughs> medium, okay. Waivers on. Fog of War off. Everything else seems to be good here. Auto staff management on. Auto scouting. I don't really care about the scouting. So there we go, boys. Does that look good? What's good passive? What's going on, boys? Chat, should the play, should the uh, trading be easy or medium? How easy is it to actually steal players from other teams? Trade for Morgan Riley? I'm good. I'm good on that. Medium? All right, boys. We'll leave it on medium. We go to advanced settings, head coach, edit lines, no, off, well, the injuries are off, so here's the scoring engine chat, what should I leave it on, should I just leave it on medium and high shot frequency, this is what I usually leave it on for uh, videos, and I do get pretty high scoring, so, has been passed, it's been pretty good buddy, head coach firing pop up, uh, I'll leave that on, trade off for notifications, I'm gonna go stars only, I don't really want to get bombarded, with uh, trade requests, waiver notifications, 
I'll leave that on. I guess retired jerseys on. Pardon me, Jesus. Blockbuster trade alert on. Looks all good there. And my be a pro bend over put up 93 goals. Damn. That's it? Only 152 points. Gameplay sliders don't need that because we're not going to be playing the game. All right, boys. Let's head right into the Edmonton Oilers GM mode, franchise mode, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's save the franchise. Keep salary cap on. Yes, sir. High shooting, medium scoring. I have a Norway cat with big paws. Nice. A kid got in really bad trouble at my school today. Can't even say what he did. Damn. What is going on with y'all guys' uh, schools? Some uh, some stuff really goes down. All right, boys. So what should be the first order of business? Nail that GM pasta. Is in Alberta. Is in Edmonton. What should we do, boys? I'm thinking we got to offload that Jack Campbell contract. I think that's got to go. Like You can trade for anyone with your assets. I really don't care if it's realistic or not, boys. I'm turning this franchise around. So our salary cap, we do not have a lot of cap. So first order of business here. Jack Campbell. Okay, okay. Get, uh, all right. I guess I'm getting all the uh, tutorials. Jack Campbell, there he is. $5 million. No trade value whatsoever. Honestly, chat, where should we send Campbell at? Trade Nuge for Allmark? View contracts, view contracts. We will, boys. We will. I, I got to get rid of Jack Campbell. Trade for Bedard. You know what? I'm just going to ask. Does any of these teams want him? Probably not, huh? Oh. The Philadelphia Flyers want Jack Campbell. So you know what? In exchange, give me, honest to God, give me a fourth round pick. There we go. Jack Campbell out of Edmonton. Trade rejected. Uh, doesn't meet her. Oh, okay. Um, Give me a seventh round pick. I do not care. Get this contract off the board. And there you go. Jack Campbell is no longer a member of the Edmonton Oilers. You can totally trade Campbell for Hart. Campbell doesn't have enough trade value, boys. We're going to look at the contracts now. Where are contracts? Contracts. View contracts. There we go. Trade for Doc, Caulfield, or Suzuki. <laughs> All right. So we have Connor McDavid making 12-5 for the next two seasons. Actually, three seasons. Dry settles only on contract for two years at 8.5 mil. Um, Nuge, we could trade him. That's 5 mil off the board. Uh, chat, do we trade Darnell Nurse? What could we realistically get back for Darnell Nurse? Extend Leon? Breaking news appears that Pasta appears that McDavid has requested a trade because Pasta is now the GM of the Oilers. Facts. Yes, Nurse. I'm thinking. We, we need an upgrade on D, and we might need an upgrade in goal, boys, if I'm being honest. I mean, we do sim very well. We have guys like Broberg and Dylan Holloway who have a little bit of trade value, I guess. Stuart Skinner is an 84 overall in this game, so he should be decent. Uh, Calvin Pickard as our backup's not great, but we can deal with it. All right, let's, uh, let's go see. Get a few young D for Darnell Nurse. Chat, we're... Where should Darnell go? Darnell Nurse. Let's see which uh, which teams want him. First off, Anaheim, Arizona. A lot of teams. Chat, you know what? Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins. Let me take a look here. Jeremy Swayman, 86 overall, 24 years old. He's taking up three mil of the cap. Chat, do we trade Darnell Nurse for Swayman? Get Swayman. Nurse for Darlene. I don't think I'd be able to get Dalene. What is Dalene's trade value here, boys? Let me take a look. Yeah, chat, I don't think Dalene is a realistic opportunity. Swayman? Darn on us for Dalene. Dalene's not going to go, boys. It's not. <laughs> that's not going to work out. Where's Boston? Here we go. Now, obviously, I want something else back from Boston. I'm going to at least try here. See if we can get... They want to give up to the Lizell, 75 overall. Uh, what about their rookie? He's got low tra trade value, 79 overall, 19 years old. Darnell Nurse is a top five defenseman in the playoffs? Or Darnell Nurse for a top five D-man? Um, I'm going to try this. Oh, Boston would be over the cap, right? Uh, what if I take that off? They're still going to be over the cap. Chad, how am I going to make this work? 
I got to get somebody with a big salary on uh, Boston here. Uh, who has low trade value? Charlie Coyle making $5 million. Do we take that off the books, boys? Don't add too much. Lizell? What is he uh what is he making? He's probably not. we gotta make the, the cap work. Where are they sitting at here? 85. So we gotta get at least at least two mil. At least two mil. Hey, appreciate the super chat, buddy. Trade Hyman and Nurse for Suzuki and Ghouli. We'll see, boys. We'll see. We'll we'll take a look at that trade. We're gonna make some decent changes here. So at least two mil. Um No, give me Mac Grizzlick. Is he a defensive defenseman? Offensive defenseman. Defensive awareness is 87, though. You know, give me Matt Grizzlick. There we go. Darnell Nurse for Jeremy Swayman and Matt Grizzlick. Is that a W or an L trade, chat? Retain some of Nurse's salary? I don't even know if I want to do that. <laughs> that would work out for them. Let's see if they accept it. They are going to accept it. So Darnell Nurse has been shipped, as well as Jack Campbell. We're getting the god-awful contracts. And we also get a... We're going to have a pretty good goalie tandem now, boys. You make me cream L L W Tarasenko's old. Medium's too easy. What I'm saying, <laughs> chat is that a W or an L trade? You could add it first, in my opinion. So no longer are we gonna have an 87 overall Darnell Nurse. I mean, he's definitely gonna help out our decor, but the problem is we do have an 87 Ekholm though. 85 Bouchard Grizzlick's gonna replace him. Can we get... We'll go zeros there. We'll put Grizzlick on the fourth line. Or the third D pair, my bad. And then we have Jeremy Swayman and Stuart Skinner. 86 and 84. Is that W? Major W plus Kane is a free agent. Right. What is Patrick Kane asking for, boys? Appreciate the super chat, buddy. Thank you very much. Let's, uh... Let's take a look here. Maybe do we sign Patrick Kane? He's out. He's only asking for three mil. Do we have three mil of cap space? We have six mil of cap space after we cleared Campbell and Nurse. Do we go after an 89 Patrick Kane? I think so, boys. Kane is surprisingly easy to get. It's cheap. It's cheap, boys. Now, what do we offer him? A one year deal at eight at 3.875, or do we go 3.9, boys? No, I'm going to offer him 3.9. Get Kane, start a game. I'm not playing any games, buddy. This is GM mode. Currently considering my options. Also, for a depth forward, I'm thinking about Jonathan Taves, 83 overall, only asking one mil. Very cheap to get. I think we uh I think we go for it, boys. Out from 1.3 mil. And of course, I'm going after Phil the Thrill, boys. He can be a third line scoring forward. Give up some scoring depth when McDavid and Dry are getting Double and triple teamed in the playoffs. He's a rent one year. Get Phil Kessel. Is Kessel a W, boys? Yes or not? Nah? He's not even asking a million dollars. I will pay Phil Kessel one million dollars for one season. There we go. Now we're going to simulate up to the regular season. See if these deals go through. And then we might start uh, simulating, boys. Because I don't know how. We'll see how we start the season. It's all depending on how we do here. I don't want to make too many moves because this team's really a Stanley Cup contender. They just need a few tweaks here and there. There we go. We get Kessel, Jonathan Taves, and we get Patrick Kane, boys. Three for three on the signings. W's in the chat. Is that a W? Big W on the signings. <laughs> Taves and Fogel on the fourth line. Switch Broberg and CC. L, L, W. Phil, do you play HUD? Uh, not really, but I will stream me opening uh, my HUD packs. I never... Still have yet to do it. All right, we'll simula simulate up to game number one. Taves might be washed, though. I mean, he's an 81. I'm not paying him a lot of money. So here it is, boys. Here is a look at the new Edmonton Oilers now in the era of GM Pasta. So we got Dry Settle, McDavid, and Hyman. I think I'm going to keep them on the first line. Evander Kane can go with Nuge and Brown. Warren Fogle on the third line. We... Oh... Wait a minute, we gotta we gotta call them up, I'm pretty sure. Go to roster moves. They're not even in the lineup right now. They're down in the system. These three guys are in the system. Okay. Um let's take out Lavoie. Dylan Holloway. Do I want to send him down? Hmm. No, I'll send down uh Vinny DeHarnay. No, I'm gonna send down Derek Ryan. There we go. Uh finish that. Hopefully I'm not over the cap. I think I should be good. 
Can you actually show us the lineup? I'm showing you the lineup right now, brother. Patty Kane, Jonathan Taves, duo return on Edmonton Facts. So here it is, boys. We're going to fill in uh, Patrick Kane. Substitute in all lines, yes. Um, Phil Kessel also is scratched. We've got to put him into the lines. And I'm going to take out Yanmark. I'm going to keep Ryan McLeod there. For an 83 overall, Jonathan Taves. All right, we're going to move. Yeah, we'll move Kane up on the second line. We'll have Patrick Kane and Evander Kane on the same line with Nuge down the middle. Jonathan Taves, I'm going to put you up as the third line center. I think Phil Kessel and Warren Fogle. And then we'll have Connor Brown, Ryan McLeod, and Sam Gagne on that fourth line. Is that a W forward core? Yes or no? You want a young team or not? What happens if McDavid doesn't want to sign an extension? We'll, we'll get down to that eventually, boys. Right now, we're just sorting out the lines. Is that W? Daddy passed the AWW. Boys, would you guys be for or against putting Connor McDavid on two forward lines? Just, just know, I know already we're going to go through the entire season and McDavid's going to put up like 80 points. Yes or not nah on that, boys? I, I'll go either way. I just think um, for realistic standards, putting McDavid on two lines, put him on the fourth line. Yes, yes, no. If you want to put McDavid on more points than Matthew, you should put them on more than one line. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. McDavid is going to have to play realistic. Like if we have McDavid on the fourth line like that, and he's playing the first line minutes. Yes, yes, poop. He'll be too tired. I think uh, McDavid can handle it. What is his, uh, where's it at here? Endurance is 90, so he should be good, Chad. He should be good. <laughs> All right, so decor, Evan Bouchard and Matthias Ekholm on that first line. They get a plus three. Cody Cece and Brett Kulak have zero chemistry, but that's better than a negative. And then we have Grizzlick and Broberg. Is that a W, boys? Yes or not? Nah? Put McDavid on every line. No, I don't want it to be unrealistic, boys. I want it to be realistic. That is why I'm putting him on two forward lines. For some reason, he's just playing McDavid on one line. He won't put up. I know. He puts up like 80 points. It's embarrassing. Nurse be gone. Yeah, Nurse is gone. All right, decor. And for our goalies, we have Swayman and Stuart Skinner. Uh, auto rotate goalies, I believe, should be on. They're very young, too. 24 years old apiece. So we got some years with these guys. They still have room to grow. Let's. Uh, Check out our power play here. We got Nuge, Hyman, Bouchard, and Drysaddle. I think I'm going to leave that. We got a plus five there. Now on the power play line two, uh, who should I, I... Well, first off, Patrick Kane needs to go on the there. We get a plus one with Sam Gagne down the middle. No, I'll screw it. I'll leave Gagne. Chat, who should play the penalty kill here? We have a plus one with Nuge, Hyman, Ekholm, and Broberg. Evander Kane, PP. I think I'm going to leave that since it's a plus one penalty kill too. Patrick Kane is on the penalty kill. What if we uh, what if we throw McDavid on the penalty kill? Do we get a minus? Still a plus two. So McLeod and McDavid. Um, penalty line kill. Yeah, these are all fine. Extra lines. Four on four should be good. Extra attacker. McDavid and Drysaddle. Yes. Yeah. Shootout. Shootout should be good as well. All right, boys, let's get right into the simulation here. We got our, our roster for the foreseeable future. Now, if we start out absolutely horrible, I'll make some changes, of course. But there it is, the new age Edmonton Oilers. Also, I'm going to check, make sure Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves have their right jersey numbers. Bedard, fill the thrill. Chat, is that so far, have I been a W or an L GM? Let me know. Taves is wearing 19, nice. Kane, 91. That's a Vander Kane, my bad. And Patrick Kane's wearing 88. Nice. So everybody has their number. Play the home opener. I'm not playing any games, boys. We are... This is a simulation heavy uh, live stream. Today at school, I saw police officers talking about principal. Nice. Pega pass to GM. WGM. All right. You know what? We're going to simulate to the first month. We're going to do the entire first month up to November 1st. God damn. That was a lot of talking. I'm, I'm going to need... To take a lot of water, boys. So far, the Oilers starting out 7-1 for the first month. 
absolute W. The changes that GM Pasta has made have been working so far. Only lost one game to the Minnesota Wild, 4-3. to three. I speak French, so I understand all you say. Come on, ça va? Um, all right, well, since we're flying, I'm just going to simulate month by month here, boys. Ken Holland's ass is finally out. Yes, sir, boys. GM Pasta is here. 8-3 and three to start the season. Okay, we're kind of trailing off a bit. 10-4 and four is not bad, though. Trade for Brandon Carlo because this team needs some defense. I mean, we're doing all right for so far, buddy. We are 14-5 until to start the season. Where are we at in the Pacific? Second only behind the defending champion, Golden Knights. So we're doing good so far. Let's check out uh, 22 games into the season. Let's see what uh, McDavid. See, I got McDavid on two lines, boys. And he only has 29 points in 20 games. That's crazy. Someone got timed out. Opinion on my GOAT, who is really amazing. Sydney Kitty. Oh, my God. Laurent Rossois is playing in Winnipeg. So, so far through the season, McDavid got 10 goals, 29 points. Dry Settle, 11 and 24. Nuge has been pretty good. Patrick Kane has been pretty decent, boys. Nine goals, 19 points. I think he's doing very well. What do you guys think, boys? Yo, Pasta just tuning in. Any trades yet? Yes. We've traded, I believe, Darnell Nurse is gone. Jack Campbell is gone. We got Matt Grizzlick and Jeremy Swayman. And uh, we also signed Patrick Kane, Phil Kessel, and Jonathan Taves. Do the playoffs to stream as well? We'll see, boys. We'll see. Let's check out our goalies. How are our goalies doing? Jeremy Swayman played 19 games, 13, 4, and 2. Pretty good stats, and Stuart Skinner's only played three, but he's been he's been good in the games that he's played. Check how many points Matthews have. We'll we'll do a little more uh, simulating here, boys. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna simulate, and then I'm going to <laughs> I gotta throw my dog upstairs. He wants to get out right now, so we'll simulate one more month and see where we're at at the end of it. Swayman is him. I agree, chat. I agree. Swayman has been playing very good. Opinion on Crosby Hattrick. Ageless Wonder Man Crosby still doing his thing. Edmonton is 21 6 and 2 to start the season. I love it, boys. Can we see your dog? My dog is in my Discord, I'm pretty sure. He should be under one of the pin messages. So we are now first in the Pacific, 22 9 and 3. Good enough for 47 points. One more than the Golden Knights. Canucks are also up there. Flames. Kings, Sharks are dead last. They actually won 15 games so far, which is not bad. Swayman is so amazing. Trade for Connor Zary, Connor Hellebuck, Connor Bedard, and Kyle Connor. You, you just want every single Connor on the team, huh? Pack a pass to the WGM. So far, so good, boys. So, McDavid. Oh, my God. McDavid's not scoring a lot. He only scored, uh, I believe, was it two goals? That last month, 48 points, though, in 34 games. Patrick Kane, 17 goals, 35 points. W pickup. We're only paying him $3.9 million. Not a lot whatsoever. Dry Saddle has 34 and 20 goals. He's been amazing. Nuge, 30. Yeah, we definitely have the best offense in the entire NHL. Phil Kessel, already up to 9 goals and 23 points in 34 games. He had 36 all of last season, so he's playing much better here in Edmonton. Taves has been chipping in as well. Grizzlick's got 17. For our goal is here, Swayman's played 28 games, 18, 8, and 2. One shutout and pretty good stats across the board. And Skinner, man, seven games played, but he's 4-1-1 one, and one with a 932 save percentage. Maybe his role is more of a backup. I mean, Swayman's taking the cake right now. Get Connor Bedard. Chat, we're trying to play a little, a little realistic here. We're not going like 100% realism, but... I'm not getting uh I'm not getting Connor Bedard. All right, we're gonna go one more month, boys. We'll go month by month to start uh to start this thing out. What are we saying in the chat, boys? So far throughout the regular season, how have the Oilers been playing? I mean, there's only really one right answer, huh? I bet Matthews has more points than McDavid. Skinner going crazy for some reason. How'd you get Patrick Kane? I signed him. 
Opinion on Tyrese Maxey dropping 50? I mean, I did not think Maxey was going to be that good. He's a lot better than I thought he was going to be. He's uh, he's really good. Sixers have been buzzing as well. So, 29-12-4. and four, Still first in the Pacific. 62 points. Man. Trade Nurse because it's an awful contract. I already did, buddy. Already did. Don't you worry. Ken Holland needs to get the fuck out of Edmonton. Facts. So we're not going to spend a lot of time here since we're going month by month, but uh, McDavid's dominating. 51 assists already. That's crazy. There's a look at the stats, boys. We're going to go probably up to the trade deadline here. Edmonton is way more goaded than in real life with GM Pekka Pasta. This is just GM Pasta, boys. Pekka Pasta is the, uh, the player. We'll go right up to the trade deadline. We're flying, so there's no reason for me to make any moves here. Chat, what are we saying for the playoffs? Should I jump into every single game or just maybe like the third periods and watch it? I don't want the playoff rounds to take too long. I'd like to get, honestly, I would like to do two streams, two rounds of playoff per stream. I would like to do the first and second round, and then we can do the conference, and if we make the Stanley Cup final, of course, the finals. Jump in, why not? Sim all games. I think we'll do real-time sim, and then if it's close at the end, we'll jump into it, boys. Third periods. And if it's overtime, I will 100% jump into those. We're not going to play, though. We're only going to watch. So, right now, the Edmonton Oilers sit second in the Pacific, going 37-17-7. Good enough for 81 points. Only one behind the Vegas Golden Knights. A very good regular season so far. Um, goals for per game, we have 3.62, the best in our division. Goals against 280, which is second best. So we're, we're defending as well, boys. We are doing very good. Let's go for the entire NHL for points. Where do we sit at? We sit third in the entire NHL, boys. Boston is 45-18-2. God damn. So I guess it was a win-win trade, boys, for the Boston Bruins and Edmonton Oilers. They got Darnell Nurse. We got Jeremy Swayman. GM pass is him. Why was I in timeout? Did you spam? Maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I did not put you in time, timeout, buddy. So let's check out our goals for per game. Where do we sit at here? We sit. We're not even close to the top, which is kind of surprising. But goals against per game. Boston's the best. We are down there, though, boys. We're doing, we're doing good. Power play percentage. We are third in the entire NHL, so our power play is really good. Where's our PK here? Our PK is not the greatest. Is that the bottom here? It, it's about mid-pack here, boys. Check out the TDL list if there's any good players. Trade deadline list. Where do I check that out, boys? Where can I see this? Without going into... Uh... Is this one, boys? You got mail? Call up Xavier Burrow and put him on the third or fourth line for the playoffs. Same with him in the third line. He gets 23 games. Got around 15 points. Jay Woodcroft needed his ass fired? I don't know about that. Chat, I think we're just going to go into the uh, trade deadline here. Let's advance the day. Head into the trade deadline. Um, I'm going to say I'm a buyer. I'm definitely buying some players here. Enter trade deadline. Here we go. So, ooh, Elias Lindholm making $4 million on the Calgary Flames. Drew Doughty, I don't, I'm not taking that contract. Mackenzie Weger, Kadri, don't really want to take that either. Kuzmenko, Bob, definitely not taking that. Chat, is there anyone here that we should go after? Yes or nah? What are your lines? Uh, I'll show my lines at the end of the regular season. Ken Holland's the problem? I agree. I'm thinking maybe Elias Lindholm. I mean, $4 million. Anafin? We have 3 mil in cap space, so we could technically trade for him. Chat. Do they want anybody here? I could trade some some of my young guys. Dylan Holloway and Xavier Burrow. I, I don't even know if I'm playing saying that right. Throw him on there. I don't think they're going to take that. Trade rejected, no. Maybe we can add in a draft pick. Chat, we're going all in here. Pass after trade deadline, you have to update your lines with your new players? Yes, I know. Drew? I can't go after Drew Doughty. Um, I don't really want to give up a first round pick. I kind of want to go second. And maybe we'll give up a, a seventh round. Ah, uh, we'll give up a sixth round pick. A second and a sixth. See if that sweetens the deal a little bit. Still rejected. 
What do they say there? They can give us Dylan Holloway, I think. Chad, who should we add into the trade here to make it make sense? Trade for Ryan Reeves. Mackenzie Weger. Um, Broberg is in the NHL, I believe, right now. I really don't know. Should we give up a first? Yes or not on trading our first round pick? Ask for a first? Ah, I don't know, boys. I don't know. Do we trade our first round pick this year? No, no. Yes. We want Drew, please. I I'm not trading Drew Doughty. He's making $10 million. Trade first. I think we go all in, boys. No? I don't know. I want... Uh oh trade. What happened? Minnesota Wild trade Marc-Andre Fleury to the Buffalo Sabres for Ryan Stillman? No? You know what, boys? I'm, good. I'm doing it. I'm going all in. I'm going all in on year number one. Here we go. Elias Lindholm... For Dylan Holloway, is that a W trade? <laughs> Why? Maybe I'll uh, I'll take out probably my second round pick if I'm going to do that. We want Drew. I'm not trading for Drew Doughty. W pasta. All right, boys. Here we go. Trade rejected. So we're not getting Elias Lindholm. There's nobody else I want. I don't think I can get him. Mackenzie Weger. I mean, making $6 million. What is his trade value sitting at here? Trade for Hannafin. He's eight, eight. What is he making? Six mil for eight years. That's kind of a big contract. How old is he? Thirty. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trading for Mackenzie Weger, boys. Hannafin. Chat. Should we go after Noah Hannafin? Four million dollars. Only one year left. Oh, trade alert! Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, they didn't really trade for much, boys. That was a little uh, anti-climactic. Yes, yes. 85 overall. Only got one year left on his deal. $4 million. Let's see if Calgary will take uh, Moreau in a second round. Holloway and Xavier with a second round pick. And they do accept it, boys. We have a no-brainer in Calgary. Okay. Is that W trade? Yes or not, chat? Yes or not? We're done for the trade deadline. No more moves to make. You would want a 5x5? Five well, don't worry, boys. I'm going to be very, very active in free agency. I'm not letting... Uh, no, I do not want to claim him. No, thank you. Was that W? Another fleece by GM Pasta. Yes. Remember me from yesterday, W Trade, though? Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir. So where is Noah Hannafin? Um, I'm sorry, Broberg, but I think I'm going to send you... I don't want to scratch him, boys, because he's still very young, so I'm going to send him down so we can... Oh, actually, no, Noah Hannafin's already in the lineup. There we go. Noah Hannafin, 85 overall with Cody CC. Let's see if... No, we're just going to leave the lines like that. There we go. Chat, is that a W decor? Yes or nah? I think we're doing great. I think we're doing great. Oh, they updated the lines. Why did they take McDavid off the... Oh, I have... Ah, that's why. That's why, boys. I forgot. I left uh, auto coach change my lines. I got to go turn that off. Since we turned off the injuries. Chat, what are we saying for the playoffs? Injuries on or off? I could turn down the uh, the sliders. I'm on the verge of losing the cup and be a pro. Damn, that's tough. That is tough, brother. Where is it at here? Auto rotate goalies on. Yes. Head coach edit lines. I have it on. No. Then why? Why did he change my lines? That's that's weird. Injuries off. They are a pain. Yeah, they might be pain, boys. They uh, they might be pain. What about goalies? Well, currently we are going with Jeremy Swayman and Stuart Skinner. On, it makes it more rewarding. Maybe we'll just leave it on for the playoffs. Maybe not the regular season. All right, we're going to simulate a full month up to the beginning of April. We're easily sitting in a playoff spot right now, so I don't really feel the need to slowly sim here. We're dominating, boys. We're pretty much dominating. What young player should I build around Pasta? Like Fantilli? Uh, I'd say Bedard, Fantilli, Carlson, um, Elias Pedersen. He's not really that young anymore. I mean, he's still... Chad, how old is uh, Elias Pedersen? You should have traded for Matthews. He wouldn't... <laughs> yeah, okay. So we are 45, 20, and 7. Yeah, we're just going to simulate to the end of the regular season, boys.
Thoughts on the Boston Bruins? Uh, in real life or in my game right now? Pedersen's like 25. Is he 25? Was he not drafted in 2018 or 7? It was 17, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was 17. Damn, he's 25 years old? I thought he was like 23. Sheesh. All right, let's take a look at the stats here, boys. So, player stats, Connor McDavid had a pretty good season. 38 goals. Didn't really have a good goal-scoring season, but a lot of playmaking. 126 points. Patrick Kane is going to end up second on our team. 45 goals and 95 points. That is for three, actually like $4 million. That is a fleece of a signing, boys. Leon Dry settled at 39, 83 points. Evander Kane, 76, 25 goals. Nuge had a pretty good season. Hyman didn't have the greatest season, surprisingly. Jonathan Taves is going to end up with 13 goals and 48 points. Phil Kessel slowed down a lot, but I mean, he had a way better season with Edmonton than he did with Vegas, or even for that matter, Arizona the year before. 19 goals, hasn't done that since uh, 2021, so minus 24, Jesus. Can you do franchise mode for Toronto? Well, we're, we're focused on uh, Edmonton right now. Bouchard had a very bad season, 12 goals and 42 points. He was getting uh, power play time too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he should have been, he definitely should have been a lot better. I don't know why he was so bad. Retire 88 for the Oilers. So Swayman's going to play 64 games, going 39, 18, and 6, three shutouts, and pretty good stats, as well as Stuart Skinner. He wasn't bad himself. Now, chat, if I leave auto rotate goalies on, that's not going to affect the playoffs, right? They're not going to be switching back and forth for the playoffs, or do I need to turn that off? Opinion on how the Sudbury Wolves are doing? I I don't even know how they're doing. <laughs> oh, I gotta check the uh, the team standings. My bad, boys. This is my very first franchise mode stream. Yeah, it will. It will rotate my goalies. Damn. So the Edmonton Oilers are gonna end up finishing as the best team in the Pacific, going 51, 24, and seven, 109 points. We were uh, very good. Vegas made the playoffs. Anaheim and Vancouver. San Jose, Calgary. Man, Calgary's the worst team in our division. That's tough. We would end up finishing as the second best team. Oh my god, Boston won 58 games? Jesus! 65 last year, now 58 this year. Only Swayman will play? So the Oilers are second. Carolina was up there. Vegas, Tampa Bay, Detroit, Colorado, New Jersey. At the bottom, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets. Only won 30 games Arizona, Calgary, Montreal, Minnesota missed the playoffs. That's weird. San Jose and LA. Um, let's go. We gotta check the entire NHL for the scoring here, boys. I'm just getting used to this. I I'm I'm gonna have a system in place here, boys, as we do more live streams on franchise mode. My apologies. So McDavid is gonna end up leading the entire NHL in scoring, followed by Kyle Connor, who had 108 points. Kucherov was up there, Mark Shifley. Anze Kopitar, not a lot of 100-point scores, to be honest. There's only, what, like four here? So maybe we should uh, up the scoring. Who knows? Bradman was up there. Braden Point passed. Uh, Patrick Kane, look at that, boys. A 35-year-old Patrick Kane. 45 goals. That's insane. He was not even on the first line either. Sign Bedard. So Kyle Connor is going to end up leading the entire NHL in goals with 59. Followed by Kucherov's 49. Pasta was up there. Matthews. Only had 45 goals and 87 points. Patrick Kane literally scored the same amount of goals as Austin Matthews. That's crazy. Ovi was up there. Stammer, McKinnon, and Kaprizov. Where were we at for goalies here, boys? Linus Allmark, Jesus. 50 wins. Oh, my God. Swayman, he's not going to be up. Oh, my God. Linus Allmark had 50 wins and 10 shutouts. This dude is 100% getting the Vesna. My God. Give him the heart while you're at it. Holy hell. Usually backup only plays... Where the heck is Matthews? Matthews not uh, having the greatest season. Um, we're yeah. Let's uh let's simulate up a little bit here. The regular season has ended, boys. There we go. We are playing the Vancouver Canucks in the very first round of the playoffs. Chat, do we do round number one right now? Yes or not? Nah? Put it in the chat. I think I have time for at least one more round. That's hard trophy numbers from Allmark. No joke. Facts. Matthews didn't have that good of a season in the simulation because EA disrespected his overall. Win the cup with the Pens? Yes, yes. Yes. Do round one? All right, boys. Do I need to turn off auto-rotate goalies? Yes or not? Nah? 
Yes, turn it off. No, don't turn it off. I want Swayman to start every game so far. Yes, yes. No, no. No, just to be safe, I'm going to turn it off, boys. Just to be safe. Uh, rules. We're going to go down here. Where is it at? Auto rotate goalies. Turn it off. Remind me, boys, next stream when we do uh, the next season. Or who knows? It might not be next stream. But remind me to turn that back on. Matthews McDavid, not a chance. Not a chance. And nobody will agree with that. All right, so we have game number one. Up against... Oh, Patrick Kane is back on the first line. I didn't... I thought I had Zach Hyman up there. What is going on with the lines? These were not my lines whatsoever. I don't know why the computer keeps changing them. Uh, defensively, we're good. And goalies, I'm going to start Jeremy Swayman. Higher overall, and he was a lot better in the regular season. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot better, but he was better. Swayman will start if it's on. You should trade Crosby, Latang, and Gino and rebuild the pens. We are, we are focusing on the Vancouver Canucks right now, boys. Um, Can I view their lines? Let's scout out the Vancouver Canucks. Here we go. Let's see who they have. So on the first line, they have JT Miller, Elias Pedersen, and Brock Besser. A very good first line. Pedersen's a 92. JT Miller's not bad either. The second line's not the greatest, honestly. Fourth, or I mean third line's not great. And fourth line is pretty mid. So outside of their first line, they're not the greatest. Defensively, though, they do have the stud. Quinn Hughes, 90 overall. Phil Peronics an 86, so he will sim well. The rest of them, though, are not the greatest. And for goalies, that's your Demko is an 87. So pretty good. Pretty good starting goalie, boys. Pretty good starting goalie. Swayman will start regardless. You should trade for ice. I'm not saying that. You are not getting me. You know what? Just for you trying to mess with me. Trying to say me, uh, that, trying to say that I swallow cum. Swallow this, buddy. There you go. There you go. W's in the chat for the, uh, the timeout. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> All right, boys. All right, enough fooling around. Let's go into game number one against the Vancouver Canucks. Passes the goat. W, L, W, W. So here we go. Let's, uh, we'll go real time sim. We'll just sit and watch here. Vancouver's got a power play. Don't get nothing. They got another power play. Why are we taking so many penalties here? And there we go. Leon Dreisaitl strikes first for the Edmonton Oilers. Let's go. When past the Mewtwo, you def deserve it. I mean, he tried to make me say that I swallow cum. Like, what is with people? And there we go. AW first period, boys. We are up one to nothing. Leon Dreisaitl gets a lone goal. We're getting out shot 16 to 8, though. Not the greatest. Let's keep the uh, simulation going here. Canucks are win the cup this year in real life? Uh, I don't think so, buddy. Another power play for Vancouver. They don't get anything out of it, though. They are outplaying us, though. 26 shots to 14. Another power play. Can we get a goddamn power play? Oh, no. Elias Pedersen is going to tie it up. Jesus. And we are headed to the third period all tied up. Was that a power play goal? It was a power play goal. How many penalties have we taken? Penalties right here. First period, two penalties. Noah Hannafin, Philip Broberg. Second period, Broberg, Hannafin, McDavid. Third period. Jesus. All right, boys. Drysdale's a bum to Matthews. <laughs> Imagine scoring more 50-goal seasons, 100-point seasons. You have pretty much the same amount of awards that he have, and you're also way better in the playoffs, but I guess Drysdale's the bum, right? All right. <laughs> Are you sure about that? All right, here we go, boys. Big third period. Tall tied up at one apiece. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I got to go back to goals. Who scored for the Vancouver Canucks? Connor Garland, 2-1 lead. Come on, boys. We need some offense. Oh, 3-1 suitor. Jesus. And that might be a wrap on game number one, boys. The Vancouver Canucks come into our barn. And they are going to beat us 3-1. to one. They absolutely outshot us. 45 shots to 27. We did not show up. We just did not show up in game number one, boys. Edmonton-Vancouver is the Marc Messier battle? Not, not a good start to the postseason, boys. Not a good start. Is Eric Carlson having a good season? 15 points in 14 games? Yes. That's a pretty good uh, start. 
to the season for a uh, defender. I think you only set it to three minute periods if you decide to go in. Did I? Regardless, we're we're gonna simulate up to uh, game number two, boys. I think I'll sim the first two periods and then real time sim the third. And then if we go to overtime, we'll jump into that. All right, we need a bounce back game here by the Edmonton Oilers. First period against the Vancouver Canucks. Come on, boys. Come on. Bounce back. one nothing lead. Elias Pedersen on Jeremy Swayman. No. Uh-oh. This is not going well, boys. Second period. 3 nothing lead. Lafferty and Sosi are going to score on Jeremy Swayman. Chat. We really got to reevaluate our goaltending right now. Jeremy Swayman is not playing well at all. If we end up losing this game, I might have to start Stuart Skinner for game number three. Time to add Skinner in the next game. That's what I'm thinking, boys. We'll go the real-time sim to th see if we can get a uh, comeback here in the third. 4 nothing, Philip Peronic. Jesus, 5 nothing. Oh, my God. We're getting embarrassed right now. We're getting absolute embarrassed. 6 nothing. Holy hell. It's the defense. Chad, I felt good about the regular season, but now... Oh, no. Jump in, imagine. And that is going to do it on game number two, boys. The Edmonton Oilers get shut out by the Vancouver Canucks. Six to nothing. Dominating victory. All right, we got to make some line changes here, boys. Trade for a top five defensive in the playoffs, a.k.a. Morgan Riley. I'm not trading for Riley. He's trash. So, ah, Chad, I don't even know what to do here. Patrick Kane has no points. Through two games. McDavid has no points through two games. And Dry Settle has one goal. Our offense has dried up. You know what? Zach Hyman, you're going up there. Um. Ooh, maybe. Maybe I'll put Dry Settle on the second line. Balance out our scoring. We'll get a plus three on our top two forward cores. Um. Leave the rest. I'm not really changing my depth. Chat, do we go with Stuart Skinner for game number three? Yes or nah? Or do we give Swayman the benefit of the doubt? He's been absolutely horrible so far. What do you think, boys? Put in the chat. Do you think the Pens will make the playoffs? Ah, uh, I think so. I think they'll make the playoffs. Goaltending isn't the only issue. You're not scoring yet. We're not scoring at all. Try Skinner. Skinner, all right. So if Skinner shits the bed here, we're going back with Swayman for, uh, for game number four. But this is a must-win game number three. If we lose this game, you can pretty much erase everything that we've done so far in the season. <laughs> All right, boys. Big game number three on the road in Vancouver. We need to have this one. Give Skinner the net. I did. I gave Stuart Skinner the start in game number three. Blame the defense. We might have to trade for a uh, elite defender in the offseason, boys, if we end up getting swept by Vancouver. That means we're not even close. After being, what, the second best team in the regular season? All right, boys, here we go. Game number three in Vancouver, a must win for the Edmonton Oilers. First period, here we go. No score after the first. Shots are eight to, oh my God, we're still getting outshot. We're not playing good offensively whatsoever. Second period, one nothing lead for Vancouver. The shutout streak continues, man. We just cannot score. 20 shots. Let's go to the third period here. We might have to jump in, boys, if uh, if it's still a one nothing lead. Power play by Edmonton. Can we get a goal? No goal on the PP. That's tough. There we go. Dreisaitl ties it up on Thatcher Demko. No. Elias Pedersen comes back. Seven minutes to go. Power play. Get a goal. Get a goal. Get a goal. Oh, my God. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're pausing it there, boys. We are going to hop in here. 55 minutes to go. See if we can come back here in the game. Skinner. How has uh, Skinner been playing so far, boys? Um, Quick settings, game settings. What do I have the time at? Three minutes. Chat, should, what should I put the minutes on? 20? Leaving on uh, 20 minutes? <laughs> the uh, overtimes are going to be uh, rough. Um, I also don't want to play... I don't want to be... Where's coach mode? So I can change the lines. There we go. Um, And I got to change the... Ice camera angle. So we can... Is it true broadcast that I want to be on? True broadcast. There we go. You're playing? That's cheating. I'm not playing, boys. I'm coaching. Five minutes? Fine. Well, we're there's only like a minute left here, so. 
All right, here we go, boys. Down 2-1 in the third period. We need some offense. Can I tell my offense to get pushed up? Why? It's it's not letting me. It's... Offense, full four check. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on. 20 seconds to go already. Oh, my God. This... What? what? 20 seconds and full pressure. Oh, my God. What are we doing in the defensive zone? Oh, my God. We are horrible defensively. That's crazy. 13 seconds to go. That might do it for game number three, boys. I'll tell you what. If we get swept here, just it's still on three. Is it? I thought it was on uh, 20. Oh, my God. I'll have to change that when I get back, boys. 10 seconds to go. Vancouver's in our own end. Jesus Christ, man. We're horrible defensively. Literally cannot get the puck right now. Stuart Skinner's flopping all over the ice. Four seconds to go. And that's going to do it. The Edmonton Oilers are going to fall down 3-0 to the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, no, boys. Oh, no. After all those trades that we made. And the Oilers are one game away from getting swept in round number one. Sweeping coming. The coach is done. Chat, I'll tell you what. If we get swept in the first round, some big changes are happening in the offseason. I'm just going to lay that out there right now. For yo comeback, just joining in late. You're joining to an uh, awful, awful team right now. <laughs> Chad, do you guys believe in the comeback? Yes or nah? Who do we go in net for game number uh, four, boys? Skinner had a pretty good game. I'm not even going to lie. We still did not have a lot of offense. McDavid, no points through three games. That's insane. Playing on two lines. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, nah. Chat, Skinner or Swayman for game number four? Put in the chat. Swayman's a higher overall, but Skinner played pretty good in the one game he played. 34 saves, only allowed, what, two goals? Swayman keeps Skinner. Two points is your high point score. Yeah, we're not. Our offense has dried up tremendously. Skinner, Skinner. Both won't do much. I'm going to leave Stuart Skinner in the net. He did play good. It's his net until he loses it, boys. Which uh, might be this game. Because we only have one more game until we get knocked out of the playoffs. All right, game number four in Vancouver. Season on the line. Not much else we can really do, boys. First period. Here we go. 3-1 lead. We are still alive. Evander Kane, Nugent Hopkins, and Connor McDavid. Finally, our offense comes alive. 17 shots on net. Exactly how I like it. Skinner and that will be a disaster this game. Calling it. So far, so good, buddy. Fire the coach. Fire the goalie coach and call up AHL goalie coach after the sweep. All right, second period, boys. 5-2 lead. There we go. Dry settle and Connor Brown. Finally, we are scoring. That's more like it, boys. That is more like it. Also, boys, would you guys want me to... Uh, actually, I'll, I'll ask you guys after the game. There we go. Connor McDavid, second of the night. 6-2. We're dominating Vancouver this game, boys. Absolutely dominating. McDavid gets his first point. And there we go. We live to fight another day. Stuart Skinner, 27 shots, 25 save. I, we had 45 shots, boys. We were on point that game. We were on point. Let's check the box score here. Dry settle, one goal, three helpers, four points. McDavid, two goals, one assist. Nuge had two as well. Kessel had two helpers. There it is. Fill the thrill. Man, Patrick Kane had a helper here, but that's the only point he scored all playoff series so far. Toronto missed the playoffs. How the hell is that possible? Because they suck, bro. They suck. How did the Leafs miss? I have no idea. All right, boys. I'm not going to make a single change. We dominated that game, so keep the train rolling here. Game number five. Series is still on the line. We're back at home, though. Let's have a strong outing here, boys. First period. 2-1 lead. Okay, Connor McDavid gets two. McDavid has finally come alive. It has taken him three games to get here, but he's here. Second period. 2-2. Two -two. We got a tie game. Teddy Bluger, did he score both goals? No, it was Juleson. Okay. All right, boys. Third period. It's all tied up. Two apiece. Season on the line. Come on. There we go. Evan Bouchard on Thatcher Demko. Again, dry sidle on Demko. The offense has come alive for the Edmonton Oilers. W's in the chat. McDavid shows up. Five minutes to go. Four. 
three, two, one, and we're staying alive, boys. A 4-2 victory in game number four, or game number five, my bad. W's in the chat. McDavid, another three-point night and two goals. Bouchard has a goal and assist. Nuge has two. Zach Hyman, two. Drysaddle, one goal. Our big guns. Man, McDavid has been firing these last two games. Reverse sweep, W. Top five defensemen in the NHL, W. And L. McCarr, Adam Fox, Yossi, Quinn Hughes. Honestly, I'd put Quinn Hughes over uh, Roman Yossi. Right now, I would put uh, Hughes over Yossi. Fifth team never do it. Boys, do not jinx it. We still have one more game on the road that we need to win here. If we force a game seven, then we can start uh, talking about it. All right, here we go. I'm not touching a thing. We won our last two games. Let's force a game number seven, boys. Here we go. Game six in Vancouver. Very first period. One to one. Okay, Drysaddle gets one and Sosie gets one as well. Um, Second period. 3-1 lead. No, Suter and Teddy Bluger. Oh, no, boys. Oh, no. We we uh, we did all that for nothing. Come on. Come on, boys. Big third period here. There we go. Evander Kane. We're not out of it yet. We just need one more. Please, the hockey gods. I am praying. Nine minutes to go. Chat, do we jump in? Do we jump in? Yes or nah? Four minutes to go. Do we jump in? Three minutes. I paused it. Yes, yes. All right, we're jumping in, boys. We're doing it. We got to jump in. We need to tie this up. The season cannot end like this in embarrassing fashion. Uh, length is on 20 minutes. Skill pro. Everything should be fine. Coach the team. I am. I'm, I'm going to coach the uh, the team, boys. Don't worry. Jump in. I'm not going to play, boys. We're not playing any of the uh, franchise modes. Shorten the bench. Yes. Player top two players. Only three minutes to go. Here we go. Season on the line here in Vancouver. Come on. Oh, what a horrible turnover. Why Why is my fourth line out to start the game? Oh, no, 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 no. Once he dumps it in, I'm going for a change. How do I change? There we go. First forward line. Get out on the ice. Get out on the ice. I'm calling for a change. Can you guys please change? A oh, horrible change. Absolutely horrible. How do I... Uh, is this my D? There we go. We'll leave first line D. Go, McDavid. Go. McDavid. In the middle. Zach Hyman. Zach Hyman. How did you not bury that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Points. Alex Kalorn is leading. Oh, Dryside is leading. Nail. Jesus Christ. Nine points in the playoffs so far. Um, Full four check, boys. Full four check. McDavid. Huge face off draw. Back to Ekholm. McDavid. Shoot that. Back door. Zach Hyman. Zach Hyman, you choke. Nuge. Oh, my God. Nuge and Hopkins. Full pressure. Nuge in the middle. We are all over the Vancouver Canucks. Come on. Get on him, boys. Double, triple team. Oh, Hyman. Oh, my God. Get a shot on net. We need a shot on net. Demko is going to cover that up. Jesus. They are choke. Zach Hyman and Nugent Hopkins. How on earth did they not bury that? Oh, no. How much time do we have left here, boys? How much time? Okay, we still have two minutes. Come on. McDavid, we need that draw. We need the draw. Ah, Another four check. Come on. No, no, no. Full pressure. Get on him, Zach Hyman. Nice. Turnover. Go. Give it up to McDavid. McDavid in the middle. Okay, what on earth was that, Connor McDavid? Here we go. Nuge. Bouchard. Oh, we need traffic in front. Nice. McDavid still got it. Ekholm. Back to Bouchard. Blast it. Great save by Demko. He's going to play it. Get on the four check, boys. Oh, my God. Zach Hyman absolutely destroyed him. 155 to go in the third period. Come on. I'm leaving my first line on. I don't even care. Go. McDavid in the middle. Go. Zach Hyman. Hyman. Nuge. Oh, my God. Evan Bouchard hit the goddamn net. They are choking right now. Is this playoffs? Yes. This is game number six. Season on the line. Down 3 to the Vancouver. Oh, my God, man. Oh, no. 130 to go. Come on. Nice hit there, Evander Kane. Oh, no. Delay penalty. Are you kidding me, Evander Kane? Jesus Christ, dude. There it is. There goes the season. We're on the power. We're on the penalty kill for the rest of the game. Evander Kane just blew our chances at a comeback. L's in the chat, boys. L's in the chat. Time for a clean house next season. 
I am so disappointed right now. I can't even see the fight. Evander Kane took a penalty and got his ass kicked. See, I told you you should have traded McDavid for Matthews. Are you just going to say this every time we lose? I'm not downgrading on players. Kane for a seventh round pick. Evander Kane, buddy, that might be your Edmonton Oilers career. After ruining our chances at a comeback like that, we might have to ship you off in the offseason. We might have to do a full clean house, boys. Kane for Brendan Carlo. Oh, no. Jesus, we're on the penalty kill here. No hope. No hope at all, boys. I don't know. I'm going to sit back and watch, but I think our hopes are done. Wow, what a disappointing end to the season. We fell down 3-0. We won two straight. <sighs> Second best team in the regular season. And we're out in round number one. Dry Settle's only got one year left on his deal. He's definitely going to ask for an upgrade after the end of next season. So, I think we go all in in the offseason, boys. What do you think? Trade everybody else for at least first or seconds. Maybe pull your goalie. I can try pulling my goalie. Here we go, boys. Empty net. Nuge. Up the pressure. Nuge. In the middle. And that's going to do it. Elias Pedersen. Oh, no. Dry settle. Good D. Good D. Come on, boys. Empty netter for the Oilers. Get the puck in. Dry settle. Why are you going for a change? Why are you going? Go. Nuge. Nuge. Come on, McDavid. Get the puck, man. Go get Matthews. I Why? So I can lose in the first round again. And there it is. Elias Pedersen puts it home. Chat, what are we saying for the uh, offseason? Clean house? Go all in for a Stanley Cup win next year? I think we got it. McDavid and Dreisaitl are in their prime. Not a lot of uh, length left on their deals. So Get Zegras. Mitch Marner. Get Mitch. Top line carries Canucks. Dang. I'm back for more. I'm a Canucks fan. That's all I'm going to say. Ah, oh, man, what a disappointing first round. What a disappointing first round. Wow. Are you doing more seasons after this one stream? Yes, this is going to be a continuous mode, boys. And there it is. The Vancouver Canucks are going to beat the Edmonton Oilers in six games of round number one. The Oilers had a, uh, a very disappointing playoff run. After finishing as the second best team in the NHL, really breezing through the regular season with our lineup. We were very dominant. And uh, yet again, another disappointing playoff exit. Three years in a row, we just got worse pretty much. Western Conference Finals to the second round and now the first round. Hi, Pasta. What's going on, brother? Fire goalie coach, get a better one. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to clean house, uh, boys. In the... Uh, in the offseason. Man, that one stings, boys. That one stings. You know what's disappointing? I haven't started beating it. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, boys. Um. Yeah, I guess I will wait till uh, I'll simulate up to the end of the playoffs. We're. That should that should definitely be good enough. The 19th. Get Makar all in. Chat, I think for the offseason, we have to go all in. We're going to make some changes in the offseason. Some guys are getting out of here. Breaking news, after another disappointing season, McDavid has requested a trade out of Edmonton. And the New Jersey Devils are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup in year number one. Jack Hughes gets a Stanley Cup. He's only, what, like 22 years old? God damn, man. McDavid's still 27 years old trying to do it. Ah. <sighs> All right, boys, I appreciate all you coming out for the very first Franchise Mode stream. We should be back in a couple days, either with Be A Pro or another one of this. Very disappointing year number one, but we'll be back in the offseason, and changes are going to be happening, boys. Big changes to the Edmonton Oilers. If you're not already in the Discord, the link is in the chat. Join the Discord. Also, consider subscribing to the channel for more live streams just like this. I got a video going up tomorrow, same time. We are going to be removing every single rule from the NHL, and it caused absolute chaos. I appreciate you guys coming into the stream. And uh, remember, boys, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. D dramatic changes coming. Facts, boys. Big facts. Join the Discord.